Hi, I'm AJ Kissinger. When I'm not studying and not going to school, I like playing baseball, uh, working out at the gym, going to the beach, uh, paintballing, just anything staying active really. I don't think you have to be a certain age to make a difference in the world. I just think you need something that you're passionate about just to drive you to do something. And you know, it may take a certain age to figure out what that is, but I don't think you have to be a certain age to change the world. Uh, the kind of impact I'd like to have on the world, just uh, hopefully through this interview, change uh, some perspectives. Um, a little more long term, uh, being a major league baseball player would be awesome. Hopefully, help out some kids, uh, with, like training camps and stuff like that. Uh, what matters to me most is just uh, kind of the way the, the next generation of uh, just sports is going. Just uh, the participation trophies that they're getting for not really completing anything, just participating. And so it creates like it's okay to be first place, it's okay to be last place, and it's creating a generation that is really, it's seemingly unmotivated and just if everyone's just going to get a participation trophy, why try? What's the motivation to do better or be better? Just being bred in sports, is gonna, it affects all facets of life really. It's uh, affecting education, you know, kids aren't trying as hard because they think they're just going to get that participation medal. Uh, and then when they grow up, it's going to affect their workplace, their uh, motivation, when they get a job, when they get a career, it's just it's not heading in a good direction for the nation. My solution to this cause is we need to create a group, a volunteer group that just re-educates kids that it's okay to be number one, it's okay to strive to be better than everyone else. You know, mediocrity isn't something that you should hope for. You should hope to be excellent, you should hope to be better. You know, we should uh, go talk to little league teams, to schools, to soccer teams, to football teams, everywhere, that they're just giving these participation trophies just for trying and show them that, you know, you want to win. Losing sucks, you know. Winning feels a whole lot better than just being told everyone's like the same, everyone's average, everyone's okay. You know, it's okay to win. The other thing we do is develop sports clinics. You know, personally, I've worked summer camps for baseball, and you know, every kid gets the same award, no matter how good they do, no matter how bad they do. And I think we need, you know, almost like elite sport camps that show kids how to win, how to achieve their dreams. You know, the work ethic, everything that they need to do to become the best player, the best student, the best you know, overall person that they need and have clear cut lines. You know, this person excelled today, he was the best, this person excelled this week, just to show kids what they need to do to what they need to do if they want to, you know, strive for goals and stuff like that. Um, if someone told me that I mattered, it would really change my self esteem, which would just affect all facets of my life. I would, you know, if someone tells you you matter, you, it just, you know, it makes you feel better, it makes you feel like trying to be more than you are, it'll help with your work ethic, with everything, you know, it'll just completely just change how you are, feel about yourself and how you feel about what you do with your life. Um, if someone repeatedly told me that I mattered, I feel like, again, it would just change, but in just a huge, like a way bigger way. You know, if that's the first thing you hear when you wake up in the morning, or, you know, the thing you hear before you go to sleep, it would just make your whole life just a lot more positive and just, you know, again, just help you do things that you didn't think you pro probably could. The person I'd like to hear that I matter from the most uh, would probably be my grandpa. He uh, passed away my freshman year of high school uh, of cancer. And I just, you know, I don't think, I think about him every day. I think just hearing that one more time from him, because, you know, he loved me. And, you know, he always said that to me, but just hearing it one more time would be awesome, you know. It just, uh, I haven't seen him in like five years. It would just be a great push for me. My hero is, you know, obviously you have like your parents, you know, I love my brother, he's my hero too, but if anyone, it, it was definitely my grandpa. You know, he, uh, he grew up in Hawaii and then he moved to Northern California and he was in a, you know, a tiny little uh, farming community and then you know, he took a chance, he worked hard and then he moved out here and he started his own business and from like the ground up basically and he grew to be a success and just you know, his work ethic, his uh, love for family, his appreciation for just anything in life, that's, that's what I admired about him, that's why he's my hero.